The hundreds of dogs out today with their owners rocked out to promote dog adoptions from local shelters. The first ever Rock and Paws connected pups with new owners as some area shelters deal with overcrowding. News 13's Claire Purnell was in North Myrtle Beach today where it seems she's made a new friend. I am here at Rock and Paws at the Barefoot Landing. The band is on. There are so many cute dogs, all these booths. Dogs are getting adopted. You can make donations to animal shelters. It's a great time. This will be dog number two that we've rescued. Barefoot Landing hosted its first Rock and Paws live music event to boost local animal shelters this weekend. Dogs and dog owners enjoyed food and live music. The three-day festival benefited local shelters through vendors, free adoptions, and donations. So we decided we'd extend it out to the other um, the, uh, the shelters in the area and rescues because it's a big issue right now. They're having, you know, there are a lot of turn-ins and they're all overwhelmed. And so we just wanted to do our part and kind of help out. Each day benefited a different animal shelter in the area. Today, dogs from the Horry County Animal Care Center were up for adoption. The center says it's right now at capacity with more than 150 animals waiting for a new home. People should come and rescue more of these dogs. They need good homes. Four dogs were up for adoption today. All of them found forever homes by four o'clock. Yeah, and did you come here expecting to get a dog? No, we just came here to pretty much walk this baby out. <laughs> And now you're leaving with two. Now we're leaving with two. <laughs> Carolina Boxer Rescue and the Humane Society of North Myrtle Beach were also featured this weekend. Barefoot Landing says it's pleased with turnout, adding the event will definitely return next year. <laughs> I may end up going home with a dog. Reporting in North Myrtle Beach, Claire Purnell, News 13. That dog did go home. It was not, though, with Claire.